Oh, Boogie right. Man Ben coming round the band is Boogie Man Ben. Is Boogie Man Ben. Greetings, my fellow Fry Fiends. Thank you so much for dropping by the Horror Zone channel. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, today's video is going to be another t shirt unboxing or unbagging. Um, this was something that I got Friday the 13th week. That was this past January. We celebrated Friday the 13th. The next one is coming up in October. Um, this is the last item that I am going to be receiving from that time. Of course, I got. The little um, Luke Welch sculpture figurines. I got the shirt from Gutter Garbs that I just uh, published recently um, showcasing that. It was the 35th anniversary of Friday the 13th, The New Blood. That was a cool long sleeve shirt that I got from them. This one is uh, another shirt that has been done. The art has been done by my favorite uh, t-shirt artist right now. Favorite artist actually is Devon Whitehead. Uh, just an amazing artist. And this is from the Friday the 13th reboot that came out in 2009. And I'm recording this on February 13th, so this marks the 14-year anniversary of that film. 14 fucking years, and we still don't have a new Jason film. We got something that Brian Fuller, who did Hannibal, the television series, is doing called Crystal Lake. I'm kind of torn on it, and that's why I really haven't talked about it. I want a new Friday the 13th movie. I don't want something that's over explaining something or making something overly complex that doesn't need to be overly complex. Friday the 13th is very straightforward. Um, we saw what happened when it got too complex with final uh, the final Friday, um, which is still my least favorite Friday the 13th movie, even though I do appreciate it. And I do think that Adam Marcus did a good job as his first uh, directorial debut. As his directorial debut, I think Adam Marcus did a good job. But I just wanted Friday the 13th movie. We're going on, you know, a decade and a half without a new movie, and it's just kind of silly at this point. And uh, uh, that's why I'm just enjoying so much going back and watching those old films and just uh, being grateful that we had that time and those films existed. And, uh, you know, Friday the 13th is still my favorite horror franchise, Jason Voorhees being my favorite horror character of all time. But, yeah, um, I absolutely love uh, Cavity Colors, and I cannot wait to see this shirt. Like I said, this is... I don't have, there's not a lot of Friday the 13th remake or reboot uh, t-shirts. Um, I have one that has the mask on it from the poster. I have one that I got really cheaply from House of Mysterious Secrets back in the day, but that's it. I mean, everything else is from part six, part three, final chapter, nothing from the reboot. So this is really cool. Oh, I can't wait to see this. And like always, you get the Cavity Colors Monster Club. I have a billion of those. Um, looks like, oh, the bookmark is from Mars Attacks. The very underrated Tim Burton movie that I absolutely love. Ack, ack. Shit's funny as hell. So this was a buy or die. This was only available for a limited time. Uh, Friday the 13th week. And uh, yeah, this is fucking killer. Uh, just looking at it. And uh, again, Devin Whitehead, he should have a art gallery in my opinion. Because his artwork, as much as I love Justin Osborne's artwork for Fright Rags, Devon Whitehead is killing it. And it all started with uh, One Good Scare, that shirt that I bought from Cavity Colors back in. I got it uh, Black Friday. It didn't come and arrive until uh, really close to Christmas 2021. But that artwork just blew me away. It was the best Halloween shirt and one of my favorite Halloween shirts of all time. And this is no different. Again, amazing, amazing art. So, like I said, just wanted to showcase this. I'm glad that more people love this film. I feel like a lot of the backlash that happened with this film um, is why we didn't get a movie for so long. And then the whole lawsuit between Victor Miller and Horror Inc., I mean, with Sean Cunningham's company, it just, it fucked the entire franchise. And me, being a lifelong Friday the 13th fan, growing up with that franchise, I absolutely loved the reboot. thought it was fantastic. I loved everything about it. The only little tiny thing I wish they could have added was Harry Manfredini's score, um, but other than that, it's a great fucking film, and Derek Mears killed as Jason. And who knows what we're getting with this Crystal Lake series. This is the first time I've spoken about it in a video, and I've never even posted anything about it on any of my social media because I just really don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's like, I want to see a movie. 
I want to see a new Jason movie. We've gotten Michael Myers. We've gotten a new Leatherface. We got Scream 6 coming out. Um, and for some reason, Freddy and Jason are just in limbo right now. And support Cavity Colors, I will put a link down below. Unfortunately, this shirt is no longer available. It was only available for a limited time, but they do have some great stuff coming out. And um, like I said, they just reprinted that uh, that Things shirt, that awesome Things shirt that I wore when I, when I met uh, Windows. Uh, Thomas G. Waits uh, at that uh, East Bay Comic Con uh, several weeks ago. Um, their stuff is amazing. I got so many people that noticed that shirt. So yeah, Cavity Colors is awesome. Aaron Crawford, Devon Whitehead, the entire staff. Check it out, link down below. And thanks so much again for dropping by and checking out this amazing shirt. Sorry, I keep holding it up, but it is awesome and I'm gonna keep doing that. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. Thanks so much for all the support and I promise there's some great stuff coming up real soon. Take it easy, stay scared as always. Right, fiends just want to say thank you again for supporting boogeyman ben's horror zone if you're brand new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed please hit the subscribe button down below hit the bell notification so you're updated every time i drop a new video i typically do this once or twice a week with new content uh, i've been doing this for over 11 years and the horror genre is a passion of mine and it really means a lot to me that i can share that passion with all of you guys thanks so much again for the support and i'll talk to you again later take it easy stay scared as always